Chubby Yes Entertainment. Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment and welcome to season 8 episode 5 of Simba NYC TV show Out of Brooklyn, New York. I absolutely love this time of the year, the holiday season. The festivities, the lights, the feeling of togetherness, the peacefulness and the love in the air. Well, I also love the gifts. We have such a great show planned for you beginning with the video Healing Time by Mr. Liji. And then we are going to Nigeria to meet reggae artist Ben Priest and you are in for a treat. Followed by our book talk Health Corner and Get Straight. Bacchanal and High Drama. You just have to watch it. So we are going to take a short break and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> in the right direction what's happening i'm asking you this question when will it in and love restored again i miss the way it used to be when love was everything how can we win are we heading in the right direction what's happening i'm asking you this question when will it in the people struggling I miss the way it used to be when love was everything Tell them this is healing time Music can blow your mind Tell them this is move up time And I'm gonna get by Baby I am feeling fine I wanna sip some wine Do waste time, move you behind Come tell me have a good time How can I win it? Am I heading in the right direction? What's happening? I'm asking you this question What's happening to this world we live in? I miss the way it used to be How can we win? Are we heading in the right direction? What's happening? We asking you this question When will it end? The people struggling I miss the way it used to be when love was everything Tell them this is healing time Music to blow your mind Tell them this is move up time And I'm gonna get mine Baby I am feeling fine I wanna sip some wine Do waste time, move you behind Come let me have a good time I feel like I can soar across the sky I feel like I can cross the ocean wide I feel like I can be all the things that I want to be yeah. Choosing my own destiny I feel like I'm a star shooting across the sky I feel like I can fly on a natural high I feel like I can be all the things that I want to be yeah. Choosing my own destiny Tell them this a healing time Music to blow your mind Tell them this a move up line And I'm gonna get by Baby I am feeling fine I wanna sip some wine Do it time, move you behind Come to me have a good time Tell them this a healing time Music to blow your mind Tell them this a move up time And I'm gonna get by Baby I am feeling fine I wanna sit somewhere Two ways time Move you behind Come let we have a good time Tell him this a healing time Things to blow your mind Tell him this a move up time And I'm gonna get by Baby I am feeling fine I wanna sit somewhere Two ways time Move you behind Come let we have a good time I'm Mr. Liji, and thanks for visiting our page. 
This page is the home to Simba NYC TV show with the beautiful host Shelly S. And she interviews all the hot upcoming artists from around the world. And she shows their music videos. Other segments on the show is Book Talk, Health Corner, and Get Straight, the melodrama skit, which you don't want to miss. The Zara and Daddy Show, Unlaw Music Entertainment Inc., the Time to Give Back to Africa nonprofit organization, and it's also my home, so check out my music videos. The experience begins at your fingertips, so hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time we upload something new. And we upload something new every week, periodically. So hit that subscribe button and let that wonderful experience begin. Ben Priest, welcome to Simba NYC TV show. How are you? I'm like, thank you very much. I'm okay. I'm right. And you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I, okay. I want you to take this opportunity to introduce yourself to my viewers. Okay, yeah, uh, my, my name is Ben Priest, like you said. Yeah, um, I'm all the way from uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, I'm, I'm a reggae artist, yeah, um, based in Lagos at the moment, right now. <laughs> Tell me, how did you get started in the music business? Yes, sir. Um, I started as far back as I can remember. In my childhood days, I remember that um, I had big interest in music. I began to sing, mimic songs from Lucky Dubé and all that as, as little as I was mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, so, you know, people began to see something different in me and they say, yeah, I, I, sound, I sound different. Differently, my daddy was a pastor. Mm. I was in in, in his, um, and then uh, all of a sudden, you know, most of the time they would always want me to, um, they would always want me to to take the lead part of the singing, you know. So uh, something began to, you know, tell me that I, I there is something different about mm. and unique about my my voice, mm. you know. Even though I also had a very big interest in, in reggae music, which mm. was a little bit odd. You know, as it were. So, but you know, that's how it started. You know, but professionally, I started being on stage and professionally around twenty to uh, the, the year two thousand, mm -hmm. where I I began to organize uh, in-house bands in in in, Lake, in Abuja, mm -hmm. yeah, in playing in clubs and hotels. Yeah, man, that's how. Tell me about the song "I Wanna" that features Rebel Blanks. Yeah. And tell me about the inspiration for that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that song, that song is um, is more of a love song. Mm. It's a love song. I wanna. Yeah, I, I never thought of uh, singing that song, but you know, you know, it was it was a producer then, uh, my producer who uh, encouraged me to do something mm -hmm. a little bit different in the studio. Uh, his, his name is S. Bush, mm -hmm. you know, that's my producer, that let's just try something. There was a chorus I was trying to come up with, you know, it's good. And, uh, and, and, and a friend of mine from South Africa, an owner of a, a record label called Root Boy Entertainment, was very much interested. And after recording that song, he, he was interested to do that asked me to do a, a video. He offered to, to make the video of that mm -hmm. song, I Wanna. And uh, I recorded the video in Ghana. And mm -hmm. then at, at the same time, I wanted a kind of um, versatility of uh, two countries, mm -hmm. Nigeria and Ghana. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I had chose a friend called Rebel Blinks based in Ghana. Mm -hmm. and, then, and, then, and, then I, and, and that's how it, it worked. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it rap. I featured him right in Ghana, Rebel Blinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it happened, you know, and I did that video, video called uh, I Wanna. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but it's not, it's not a reggae song. Yeah, it's much more like a Calypso reggae. Yes. yes and <laughs> it's, it's got some Afro yeah, beat. Well, it's got everything in it. It's, it's really very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. It's, mm -hmm. that's, that's right. That's right. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the video, I Wanna, featuring Rebel Blanks. 
and Ben Priest. Yes. Check this out. <laughs> It's been a long time we've been hiding this feeling, you know And it's about the time we show away I got to move your mountain, you got to move mine Sharing every time together And if I am guilty of loving you, I swear Girl, I promise I will pay yeah. I wanna love you, girl Got something to show you, girl Just wanna hold you, girl I wanna love you every day And all night long I wanna love you, girl Got something to show you, girl Just wanna hold you, girl I wanna love you every day and all night long All night long Baby All night Yeah me move for three county, me pay most of my jam and one jay. I'm a fade in Bonnie. Me come to my mouth, you want to man me cream. Ah, me dad down, he say cause ya. Baby no hard break for me a week. So we dinna order much for me a week. One who offend the bomb me jam, order who must go. Order me one more day. Me say say jump na on one who want my idea. Me say say dang, your love will always hide me see deep in my heart. Security tight, baby no policeman for your love. So have it in your mind, baby. Anytime you gonna need me, I'll be there for you 24 seven. Blink. I wanna love you, girl. Got something to show you, girl. Just wanna hold you, girl. I wanna love you every day, and all night long. I wanna love you, girl. Got something to show you, girl. Just wanna hold you, girl. I wanna love you every day and all night long. I like what I see, and you like what you see. Baby, can't you see that we meant to be? I see you standing on your own, think you'll make it on your own. Baby, can't you see it's the hand of destiny? And if I am guilty of loving you, I swear Girl, I promise I will pay, girl And because I wish this I love will stick and stay forever So Mr. DJ, hit me with some music I wanna love you, girl Got something to show you, girl Just wanna hold you, girl I wanna love you every day and all night long I wanna love you, girl Got something to show you, girl Just wanna hold you, girl I wanna love you every day and all night long All night long, baby Love the video, love the song, love the beat. Thank you. Just Thank you. Thank you. love it. I, I want to talk a bit about your time with the with the Lucky Do band. I mean, this was a band. Uh, he was one of the best reggae artists of South Africa, and you're hearing his music, yes, and yes. then he gets uh, he dies, and then you're called. How was that connection made? Yeah, yeah, that that, that was uh, to me. It was like uh, like a dream come true. I, 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 I 
dropped some of my songs online, which um, after his death, you know, passing on, um, his manager got to see and found out. Then they were also looking for a kind of um, uh, a lead singer to, you know, to, 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 to go on with, this, with the band. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it was a very big thing because his music was so unique that you can easily mimic his voice mm -hmm. at the time. So, and then they saw the, the difference, the uniqueness in what I was doing, and uh, sent a message across to me to come to South Africa. And um, I, I got I got a call from uh, Richard Sluma, the, the his, his personal manager at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so Richard Sluma was the one that called me and made me to joined the band. When I was doing the rehearsal, I was doing the rehearsals. The first rehearsals I did with them was was massive and and was they, they couldn't hold back their tears when I, I did oh I did uh, the songs the first songs that I did with them, like the songs called Victims was the first song I did with the band. And everything everybody was so emotional, you know. Every mm -hmm. they were they were tears, mm -hmm. like a second funeral. Oh wow. That's how it happened, and boom, and they say, wow, where have I been all the years? So, um, I, I was so elated and excited, and uh, I, I wasn't, I didn't feel I was the best, but I was so glad it was honorable. I felt so honored and inspired mm -hmm. that they counted me as uh, good enough to be with them. So, that's how it started mm -hmm. until now, mm -hmm. and we have been able to we have been able to record an album together with the band. Mm. Uh, it's online also. You can find that, you know, by the Lucky to be Band Celebrities Live. I did all the, um, I did all the composing and uh, the writing of the songs. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah, good things are happening gradually, slowly, but surely. Your, yes. your solo career has also been, has had great rewards for you. I know that 2018, you won Best Reggae Songwriter for the song Yes You Can at the Oberlin yes. Royal Awards. And now this, a, this award, award yes. show, it boasts uh, artists like Chronix and Jack Cure and Capleton. You were in good company. So I want to say congratulations on your award for Best yes. Reggae Songwriter for 2018. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that, that, came, that came as a big... Um, excitement for me yeah mm -hmm. I, I feel so honored because uh, the likes of this top artists were something i, I didn't expect you know mm -hmm. they, it came you know it's like one of the best the most prestigious um mm -hmm. uh awards mm -hmm. in, in africa it's it's, it's uh, likened to um like um, the american american grammys mm -hmm. you know so it's big and um people like uh top top is a royal thing even the uh, awardees, uh, people like um, the, even the king of Kumasi, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kumasi the, even the king of Kumasi is, you know, as part of the nominees. So I, I see, I see that as a big, as a big thing to me. Um, you know, like uh, people who organized it in Nigeria, that top, there's a top reggae empress that organized that, and uh, in, con in combination with uh, Eno Osagi and um, uh, the Empress, uh, the Queen, Adesua, you know, mm -hmm. she's part of uh, the organizers of the award, you know, big ups to her, she is, uh, she, she thought it big uh, enough for me to be part of uh, the, the nominees, mm -hmm. you know, they, 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 they see that um, I am one of the prominent people that uh, should take reggae forward in Nigeria as far as reggae is concerned, yes. and I feel so honored and excited about, about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it came about, and I was one of them that uh, took the, the one of these awards, you know, of uh, the Oberland yes. uh, Award mm -hmm. as the best songwriter of the year, mm -hmm. 2008. Wow. Yes, I. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. again. Tell me about the song. Thank you very much. Tell me about the song "Right Hand of Ja" and the inspiration for that song. Um, the, the right hand of Ja. Yeah, I think it's a song that um, talks talks about you, you know the, the struggles in life and, um, and 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 what you want goes through. Some of the songs, most of the songs that I sing are based um, on the personal life experiences that I have, mm -hmm. and those that can also relate to everyone else. And 
the right hand of Jah, like um, it, it also connotes help, help from God. Yes. You know, I believe so much strong on the back. So it's when when all that fails in your life and all the obstacles, you always believe the right hand of Jah is there to save you mm -hmm. and to take you through, mm -hmm. you know, up to the hills. You know, mm -hmm. that's it. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's yes. what inspired me in the song. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. <laughs> So we're going to take a look at the video, The Right Hand of Jah by Ben right. Priest, and we'll be right back. Check this out.
Social media info. I'm on Facebook by the name Ben Priest. Facebook Ben Priest. I'm on uh, Twitter at Ben Priest Seven, and I'm on Instagram at Ben Priest Fifteen. Yeah, and yeah, mm. that's how you can get me on, online. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. You know, sometimes I don't get to ask everything because of the time constraints. Um, so I want to give you the last word. Um, is there anything that you want my viewers to know about you that I didn't get the opportunity to ask? Yeah, you, yeah I am I am a very, very uh, passionate person. Very, very passionate person. Um, loving, kind, and, <laughs> you know, I believe so much, so much in spirituality. Yeah, and that's me. <laughs> and um, I love to be honest, you know telling the truth all the time. I'm a speaker of truth. You know, like um, anyone else talking to upcoming artists, you, like Lucky Dube, would always say to everyone, believe in yourself mm -hmm. and in nobody else. Mm -hmm. Face the future with pride yes. and do the best that you can. Mm -hmm. And you walk up to the hills, see? Mm -hmm. That's all I can say, mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that tells it all. Mm -hmm. Give thanks and praise. <laughs> that that sounds it yes, sounds I, like your next song. <laughs> I hear a song yeah, in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big up, big up to you guys. You're doing a great job. Bless yes. it. Thank you. Jobless. Now before yeah, you man. before you, before you leave, I need a little taste for my viewers of, of Ben Priest. Just just a little something.
Yeah. 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 And a song called Free Man too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little taste of what you have on my first album called Free Man. Free Man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was a nice. pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Again, I wish you much success. Thank you so much for coming and sharing yourself on Simba NYC TV show. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate so much your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bless. It. Bless. Bless. It. Yeah, man. Hi folks, you know who I am. I'm Shelby Smith of Shelby S Entertainment and I'm the host of one of the hottest shows, if not the hottest show in New York City and it's Simba NYC TV. A lot of you artists, you've been reaching out to me on Facebook and IG and saying that you want to be on this show. But you don't live in the tri-state area. So I'm going to fix that. We are going to be providing Skype interviews. I want to be able to show all the dopest artists, not only in New York, but all around the world. So, you know what you can do? You can reach out to me by my Facebook, which is Shelda Smith, by email, which is S-H-E-L-L-Y-S-W-K-R-S-S at gmail.com. You can go to my entertainment page, Shelly S. You can also friend me on Skype. And the name on Skype is Shelda Smith. Send me a link to your music and your time zone. That's so important because I don't want to be calling you while you're sleeping. So link me, link me, link me. And you can be an artist on Simba NYC TV show. Yes, it's all about you. Made in Brooklyn, New York City. Tasty pepper salt make everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. It makes everything taste good. For all inquiries, please contact 646-657-4277 or email at Elaine's Tasty Pepper Sauce at gmail.com. You wanna hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. book talk it is time to imagine to be transported to be informed it's time to read today's book is titled behold the dreamers by Mbolu Mbwe Jenda Janga a Cameroonian immigrant has come to the USA to provide a better life for himself his wife and their six-year-old son he lands a job as a chauffeur for a senior exec at Lehman Brothers Clark's wife even offers temporary work to his wife at their summer home in the Hamptons. With these opportunities, Jenda and Nelly can at least gain a foothold in America and imagine a brighter future. However, the world of great power and privilege concerns, conceals troubling secrets. And soon, Jed and Nelly notice cracks in their employer's facades. When the financial world is rocked by the collapse of Lehman Brothers, Jenga's job as well as his marriage is threatened. As all four lives are dramatically changed, Jenga and Nenny are forced to make an impossible choice. The name of the book is Behold the Dreamers by Mbolo Mbwe. Thank you for joining me and see you next week on Book Talk. You wanna hide you something from a Negro? Put it in a book. In a book. Prevention is better than a cure Health Corner Welcome to Health Corner. You have just been told that you have fibroids. What does that mean? Fibroids are growths that develop in or on a woman's uterus. These growths, they are typically benign and non-cancerous. The symptoms include excessive menstrual bleeding, painful cramping, pelvis, and lower back pain. Anywhere between 20% to 80% of women will develop fibroids by the time they turn 50, and although they can affect all women, black women are three times more likely than white women to develop fibroids, and they tend to develop them at a younger age. Extensive research is still being done as to why fibroids develop in the first place and why black women get them more frequently 
and with more severity than other races. Regardless of unknown determinants, black women, they should be aware that something as small as our hair can play a role in our body's connection with fibroids. Central centrifugal cicatrical alopecia is the most common form of alopecia among black women. Women who have this type of alopecia have a heightened risk of developing fibroids. And there's also an association between fibroids and hair care products, relaxers. Relaxers can turn chemicals, and these chemicals, they stimulate estrogen production, and estrogen dominates, which contributes to fibroid growth. When treating fibroids, there are various options that are available which can alleviate the symptoms, such as getting vitamin D. Vitamin D has been proven to reduce the presence of fibroid cells. There's a procedure that's called myectomy where fibroids are removed from the uterus, having it intact, so that hysterectomy is your last resort. But in addition to these conventional medical procedures, fibroid relief may be as simple as a trip to your health food store. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner, and I will see you next week. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner. Life in America, I'm easy. No pressure. Everybody wanna come to America. Life in America, I'm only in America. I'm a man like a messenger. Tell the people that we come from America. Take shelter under my umbrella. But it's raining too much to go get up. Even in America, on the kitchen, so far that Like you think about America, when you don't come to me like a top shot Tell them when you be drunk, no pressure Tell them when you be like a next to Hala Tell them when you land on that Hala Yes, tell them when you think about America, they don't know yeah. Oh yes 52 years Barbados independence 52 years November 30th. Yes, ma. I gotta do something for me to celebrate. Go playing. If there's one thing I know, I is a proud Bajan. From Coxpur to Banks Beer to Browns Beach, your asshole, even Nelson Street. <laughs> Where all the freaks come out at night. <laughs> you know I like a lot of that. Anyway, for me to celebrate, I believe it's music and festivity. But these fellas nowadays, the Peter Rams and, 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 and the next one, they only really sing instead of walk up, walk up, about good morning, okay, right? Hey, the man rather listen to some good old red plastic bag. <laughs> 52 years. I ain't America, but I ain't still a virgin. Tell a boy, hey, spring garden, is that coming? Hey, hey. Hey, he is out now. This Camille always texting me for telling me if I send the thing. I gonna send the thing when I get it down. Go blame you. Always trying to, always trying to stop a good time. I listen to my plastic bag guy. You come, you interrupt me now. But if I say anything, you think I just rock so bad? And all that money that sent you that last week, I sent you fifty dollars. She come back texting me again if I send something to she. What wrong with she, man? By the way. This the next rise for room is from God Relief. Paul tell me he got somebody for your ass for room and up to now I can't I can't see the 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 rise for body yet. And this next one texting me about oh if I said anything yet. And I'm going through that, you know. Look, you see me? I ain't gonna deal with she later. Look, let me call Paul now. Let me call Paul.
He called Paul and find a way to be on here, man. That room just saying there. The two weeks now. Since Gabby left. And your room still there? Yes, Sally. Girl, you make him very spoiled, man. I will come over by you tonight and suck all you toes here. Yeah. Think it's a joke, ain't that here? <laughs> come on, my boy. As soon as they finish work, my boy by coming over by you, baby. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on this side, hold on. Somebody put my next line, hold on. All right? I ain't going nowhere, baby. You better wait there, man. All right, hold on. Who's gonna come out calling me? Won't come out, won't. Hello, Uncle Matt? Hello, Paul? Yes, Uncle Matt. What you saying, man? Ain't really nothing going on in no Uncle. Just know he getting ready to jump in my Uber and try and make a dollar. Days are. What are you saying? So we what 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 the body you tell me you want the room? You tell me a body want the room? Yes, uncle. I got two people interested in the room, you know. But I working on it. Alright? Just give me till the end of the week, now. Nah. Give me till the end of the week, uncle man, so I can confirm everything for you. But look how long you tell me that. Look how long you already left out of your room there, man. The place is empty, man. That like money I using. What you gonna do? You gonna bring the you gonna bring the body or what? Uncle, I gonna bring the body. Look at how much body I bring here ready for you, Uncle. Come on, man. Don't give up on me now. Alright, man, hurry up with that, man. Call cool, man. You know it's Barbados, you know it's Barbados independence? Yes, Uncle. I must know that. Anyhow, man, you know how much people I take to different parties and things I take? Like three customers down to the Beijing Queen. I take a next customer down uh, Tropical Paradise. They got a party down there. And I hear Little Rick and all of them down there, man. Uncle, you need to come out, you know. You need to come out and enjoy yourself, man. Enough things going on for the independents here in Brooklyn. Right here in Brooklyn. You need to come out. All right, I'm going to talk to you about that. I ain't ready for that, all of that right now. All right, then. Let's call me when you find the body, man. I'm waiting here for you, man. Yes, Uncle, yes. It's a short sure thing. All right, just give me till Friday. It gonna confirm with the body and find out when it is he ready to move in. All right, just give me till Friday. All right then, later. All right then, Uncle, later. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, Sally. He told you to hang up, you know. Yeah, you wanna come down by you later, man. You suck all you toes and you bobbies, you. <laughs> Think it's a joke? When I done with you, man, the place wet down like it's a, like it's a rare forest. <laughs> yeah, baby. You want me to bring for you? Camila. Every rascal, so, man. Did you send me a neck text again? Did you send me a neck rascal text again? But we like anything. I gonna stand it. I tell you, I gonna stand it. Will you quit that me all your ass? Look, man. You, you see me? That's why you can promise nobody nothing. Hmm? You know, you know, all the struggles I got here. I gotta pay the oil bill. I gotta pay the heat. All right. I got an empty rack. So you lady making no money. But wait, I say anything. Hmm? Uh huh? You know what I mean? I got. Look, you see me? You just listen my.
If I say, I tell you, I don't tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I don't 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 tell you, I so I don't like messing with them down south niggas, man. Down south niggas don't know how to act, son. All he got was two stacks, and you can't give me my money? Oh. <laughs> you know what they're talking about this George Bush? Like George Bush was such a saint. He wasn't no saint. Much wickedness them do people. He wasn't the first man to talk about weapons and mass destruction in Iraq and all kind of things. Look at all the walking on there. Look, 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 look. Like the man was a great, great president. <laughs> Evil. Evil people, yes? Gary? Yeah, baby. Baby, I'm going to the supermarket. I'll be right back. All right. You you want anything special from outside? Nah, I want nothing right now. Okay then. So I'll be back. All right. <laughs> this next flicking Nikki, what is she calling me? What is she calling me for? Huh? She think this is. Tell she me want to make out thing with the scene and I tell she that thing she, she calling me, she calling me for. You know what I mean calling Nicholas and tell Nicholas this freaking mad scene, boy. For real. Bye. Oh, this is my dude. I wish folks could be more like, like Garvey, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's good, my dude? Hello? What happened, Nicholas? I was just talking about you, man. As a matter of fact, I was just thinking about you, not talking about you. And you called me. You gonna live long, my dude. What's up? Boy, if I only tell you, boy, you wouldn't believe it. Guess who called me yesterday? I inside here watching football with my wife. Guess who called me? Who? You remember when me and flicking Deborah was in me little problems and thing, and they kind of break up? Remember the girl who had to go in the party with her tell you about? Oh, oh, I, I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, what she want? Boy, up to now, I don't even know. All I know is I sit down here in my living room with my wife, and next thing when I look at my phone, I see Nikki calling me. And my wife telling me about um, but answer your phone now. Uh. <laughs> so I answer the phone and answer the phone. I was like, who is this? She's like, Gavi. So I said, what? Like, you know, like, where you what? Next thing she hung up. Yo, son. Yo, you still beating that, son? No, boy. Me and she not nothing, boy. It was just that one scene where I show you about. You understand? But she, she calling me now. You understand? Yo, son. So, yo, what you gonna do, son? You gonna, you gonna call her back? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna just ignore her calls? Or what you, what you gonna do? Yo, it is gonna either say, let me call you and tell you where's this scene because my wife just gone in the supermarket. Eh? See? I say, let me show you where's this scene. Real jumpy vibes, boy. Eh? And then after that, she called back again. Well, I called me and answer her one. But my wife was right next to me now, boy. You understand? And you know that is drama. You know she doesn't eat nice already. You understand? And she just get jealous fast. Me not answer that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, son. I'm going to tell you this straight up and down, my dude. You better handle that, my dude. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Shorty will mess up your whole plan, my dude. Straight up and down, my dude. You better deal with that. Handle that, my dude. Word. Well, here it is, Binan. I think I got a call, she, you know. 
why go go down by the room or some kind of thing and see where they see you know, because nobody mashing up this power move here while dealing with you know. nobody mashing up my marriage and everything boy your man oh. I come too far boy because I'm thing I don't go to arena boy Nicholas boy you understand words son facts <laughs> facts my nigga <laughs> word like I said my dude facts Yo, but tell me something, though. Did you promise her something? Did you tell her you was going to get with her or you going to beat it on the side or something? I mean, what is it? Why would she be calling you now? Listen, nothing so. Seeing, there was just the one scene where I show you, and that was it. You understand? Then she moved in the room and ting, 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 and I hold my corner and she hold she corner. Next thing she calling me. I don't see what she calling me for. You understand? But anyhow, we are just gonna my wife will come back just now now. And they see I come out of this house and I'll show you out of the road, I'll call you and let you know where this thing because I go call she when I come out of here, me go call she inside of here. Like see my wife has something recording or something like that here. Me trying to go through that in the class boy. So let's let me call you and show you this scene now. See? Yo, dag my dude. Man, it's like it never stops for you, son. <laughs> I know it's not a joke or a laughing matter, but yo, you're gonna have to let Shorty know for real, son. You don't want nothing to do with her. What you all had happened, it's over with. And she just needs to back up and lay up off of you, man. Don't be hollering at you and all of that. You gotta make it really clear to Shorty, son. Cause yo, this is your life you're talking about, you know what I mean? You've been fighting for what you want for the longest. So you gotta make it real clear to Shorty, son. Word to the mother. Well, all right then. Well, here what? I will call you and show you where this man I don't talk to Sheena. But somehow I feel I will go down by that room, you know. You understand? And talk to she face to face. Because I wanna know where it is going on. Can I jump this scene as that? And you are, I will call you later, all right? Yeah, my brother. Yo. Just be careful, son. All right? One. Yeah, later. Looks like this girl coming like she would have threw some freaking tack in my rice or throw a spoke in my meal or some kind of thing. Me ain't going through that, you know. Me ain't going through that. So, I'm going to talk to my mother and tell me to go and see my mother and my wife. And I look to organize a meeting. So, we jumbies coming around. Mad drama surrounding this nigga Garvey. These shorties, man. <laughs> I just hope he works it out, man. You don't have to go through all this BS. Well, my God. representing Nigeria. He did his thing. Thank you. If you want to continue to be a part of this international movement, seeing these dope artists from around the world, go to YouTube. Go to Simba NYC TV, subscribe and click on the bell. See you next week. Jai is life, love, and it's all we need. Show with Chubby S Entertainment.